Baggy's caretaker boss Michael Appleton has said he's looking forward to the challenge of managing the team in the wake of the shock sacking of Roberto Di Matteo. The 35-year-old has indicated he'd like to stay on in the job, which would make him the youngest man ever to be put in charge of a Premier League team. It was uh, very quickly what happened. Obviously, received a phone call on the Sunday um, to say that obviously Rob had been relieved of his duties and uh, would have been prepared to take up the role until uh, the foreseeable future. I mean, obviously, first and foremost, um, you know, um, I think the first thing I did was ring Robbie himself up and obviously um, find out what the situation was. And to be fair, he was very f- philosophical. He was obviously disappointed at the time, but. Um, you know, what I would say is that, you know, he did say that, you know, if anyone's going to take over for a short period or a long period of time, he wouldn't have wanted anyone else. Um, you know, I've never hid from the fact that, you know, I want to be a manager. Um, I've gone out and took all the badges that are necessary to, to, to take that role and take that step. Um, you know, it's something that I obviously once I had to finish and the way I had to finish, I had a lot of thinking time to, to do and did I want to stay in the game? Does it want to be a coach? I think my personality and, and the strengths I bring to football clubs, eventually that was always going to be the step. Um, now, obviously, I find myself in a position which you know I would have been, I would have liked it to have been under different circumstances. Of course, I would, but um, you know I, I find myself in a position where I'm taking over the side for the foreseeable future until I'm told differently, and I'm going to try and take it and you know grasp it with every opportunity I can. Do. The, the response I've had from players, they've been absolutely fantastic. Um, I think it was important that the first thing I did was ring them all up. Um, so obviously, you know, there's a lot of lads that I've only seen for the first time today because they've been away on international duty. Uh, so I just made to, I just wanted to reassure them really. Um, you know, there's not going to be massive changes, but obviously, different people have different subtle changes and ideas that they want to bring in and bring their own thing in. Um, and they embrace that right from day one. Um, and the boys, you know, are coming off the training pitch today with a smile on their face, which is important under the circumstances. I mean, obviously, it's an opportunity in terms of, um, you know, I'm taking my first game. Um, it's crucial that we get three points. It's a huge game. If I did and was lucky enough to get three points and the players were good enough, then beyond that, hopefully, you know, you never know. Um, you know, the only thing I can control is uh, what we do with the players this week. The lads who have not been in, on international duty, um, make sure that they're prepared properly for the game. Uh, make sure they know exactly everything they need to know about West Ham and how we can beat West Ham. And from there, if we can get a result on the back of it, then who knows? It is, and I think that's all I've been trying to focus for the players. You know, obviously the distractions of obviously losing the manager and, and everything else that goes with it. It's important that I try to refocus the players. Uh, we've gone right back down to dealing with the basic stuff and making sure that you know there's no distractions whatsoever from the outside and we're just focusing on what happens at three o'clock on Saturday. I think the, the good thing from our point of view, we've got two home games. Um, you know, so it's crucial that obviously our fans get right behind us uh, at a crucial state of the season when we need the points. Michael Appleton was joined at this week's press conference by midfielder Stephen Reid, who said the weekend's West Ham game was an important fixture for the club. No, it's a massive game. It's a, a game against a team that are, are going to be um, in and around us for the rest of the season. and It's a massive game this weekend, next weekend, and, and the remaining games after that. So I've just got to take, well, that's no, a cliche, but every game as it comes now, and every game's going to be every game's going to be massive. And you know, we're going to give our our utmost to to get a result. Of course, they're, they're going to be massive games. Um, like I say, if we get a, a win at the weekend, that give us great confidence going into the Wolves game and every game's going to be massive and you know, the sooner we get them four or five wins, the better.